India and Southern California. Here, more than 12,000 kilometers away from the home country, Afghanistan, they can go for a walk in a park without fearing for their safety. Mohammad and his father-in-law Bismillah are out of harm's way now, but the horrors they went through before fleeing Afghanistan are still present. For more than 30 years, Bismillah worked for international organizations, making him a target for the Taliban. With the Taliban takeover, the situation got even worse. Then things started. One of my 11-year-old daughters went missing. Then they threatened my sons-in-law. They said they would target and kill someone they loved the most. I told them to take care. I'm sorry. When there's pain in your heart, tears are the answer. The whole family fled Afghanistan and got humanitarian visas for Brazil. But when they were approached by human traffickers to sell one of the boys, they panicked and decided to leave. So they embarked on a dangerous journey through Central America and the Darien Gap to reach the US. Panama is very difficult. Uh, when you're walking, uh, maybe there can be the deficiency of, uh, uh, of food, uh, water, floods more rain and we help with, uh, with each other because we were 24 people. Now they live in a shelter in Southern California awaiting a decision on whether they can stay in the United States. An uncertainty shared by many other Afghans. They as in like the organizers or community volunteers. Marcel works for an NGO called Afghans for a Better Tomorrow. They provide help for newcomers. Her mom joined her today to prepare sandwiches for newly arrived migrants. She says the political debate over border conditions ignores the root problem, that US policy helped create the conditions many of the migrants are now running from. They don't think about the 20 years of war, you know? They just think about people that they perceive that shouldn't be allowed to come to the United States. And these are folks who, again, stood by the side of American values and principles and all that is, and then gets abandoned. And so you're worried about this type of issue as, you know, creating a domestic policy issue, but I think it's a foreign policy issue. For the family, one thing is clear. Going back to Afghanistan is not an option. In Afghanistan, there is no stability of governments. So that's difficult for the future, um, the, the youths, for other, uh, for example, for my children as well. They do not have any bright future there after this with more difficulties. A bright future that children in Afghanistan are currently denied.